everyone. I am at the American Library Association headquarters in Chicago with Barbara Jams. She is the new director of the Office for Intellectual Freedom and we are going to talk about what the office does. Moira, thank you Hi. for this opportunity. Hi. Hi. Thank I you. Am, oh, you're welcome. The Office for Intellectual Freedom is, I think, the most important office in the American Library Association. We support librarians in their efforts and advocacy for the freedom to read. We help librarians when they run into challenges, if books are censored, if they run into problems with their employer through their defense of intellectual freedom. We also do a lot of programming around the country to help educate librarians, trustees, and users about their right to read, about their rights to privacy. And we have a staff ready and willing to help. All, they have to, all people have to do is go to our website or call us at the office and we are there to help. That is wonderful. Those are really good news. What are the plans for 2010? Why do we have a lot of plans, exciting plans. We're going to continue with our grant on the Privacy Revolution, www.privacyrevolution.org, to show libraries how to do programming for their communities on how to protect our privacy. I am going to be working with other civil liberties organizations in the United States during a very challenging time when there are groups in the United States who would like to limit our liberties and our freedom. to I think what people need to understand about intellectual freedom is that while we still have censors trying to pull books off shelves in libraries, there's a new phenomenon now because of the internet and social networking. And while libraries themselves love those tools and we use them every day and we support them and defend people's rights on those, they're also being used by our opponents to challenge in much larger ways uh, taking books off the shelves or information off the internet that they believe destroys what they call American values. What concerns me about their statements is that I believe that the American Library Association and that librarians are defending American values. In fact, we are defending the Constitution of the United States, the Bill of Rights, which gives people freedom of speech. It gives us the freedom to read. It gives us the freedom to read what we wish. And I believe that those are some of the essential American values.